my area of research is within human-computer interaction. It's an area that's uh, separated between different kinds of disciplines, so computing science, informatics, design, and several disciplines contribute to the same uh, community of research. In his project, Dr. Daniel Fellman is trying to develop more engaging information technology. Through his research, he hopes to move the focus of development from the pure function of a product to the needs and desires of its users. Well, the problem my research is addressing is that previously a lot of the, the thinking and the, the development in the field has been based on the role of functionality, efficiency and, and, and questions like that. Whereas now when the computer is increasingly moving out of the lab and out of the, the office environments and into our daily lives, other values seem to be just as important. The goal of my research is to be able to design better digital products, better mobile phones, better web interfaces, better, um, you know, whatever digital product surrounds us. And I think that's quite important to part of, of the, our daily lives now that we surround ourselves with a lot of digital products. And a lot of these products have been designed with uh, functionality, efficiency and those kinds of goals in mind. But then when these products enter our lives, which isn't only our working life, but also when we're at home, when we're out in the forest running and, and so on, it doesn't really make sense to just focus on functionality and efficiency. One of the areas that we're specifically looking at uh, in a kind of a non-functionality approach to, to human-computer interaction is the role of engagement and motivation. What is it in an interface that motivates people? Why does Apple's product seem to engage people and to have grown men play uh, silly games on their mobile phones? It has nothing to do with functionality, but there's something else. And we're right now exploring the areas of motivation and engagement and see if something can be con constructed around those, some kind of design guidelines or some kind of guidance around those concepts. I think that can contribute to, to a more pleasant digital ecology or whatever we might call it. Uh, and I think in the in long term that will make us more happy as human beings <laughs> and less frustrated with, with our digital products. So the idea was, was that During the project, a number of software and hardware prototypes of engaging information technology will be developed, tested and analyzed. Well, in terms of findings, I think one of the special characteristics of human-computer interaction is that we're both uh, reflective and proactive and that we actually design and create new kinds of often in the form of prototypes, which we then assess with users to find out if they like it or not, how they think about them and if they get engaged and motivated by them. So right now we're in a very proactive phase where we design a lot of different uh, interfaces, which we'll, then we'll, uh, in maybe a year or so, um, assess with users. The character of this field is, means that you can't really work on your own. You have to have someone that's an expert in programming, someone that's an expert in electronics, uh, and mix those kinds of, of, of skills and knowledge in the same group. Um, so for me, it's, it's, it's essential that I have money for, to have a lab, to have a research group. If we take a modest approach, I hope that some of the thinking in this project will, in a, maybe two to five years, end up in, in real products that are experienced by real users in the real world outside of our labs. <laughs>